Hi guys, Adam the OT back again with some more simple, fun and effective therapy games for parents and professionals that work great in the home, the clinic or the classroom. Today's one is a really nice lesson. It combines a lot of fine motor skills with a really nice emotional regulation lesson to help your children self-regulate and manage their big emotions. Um, but first, before we get to that one, don't forget if you like these videos and want to stay updated, just click subscribe. So, all that's done, let's get on to our lesson. It's called the Cool Cup. So, the only thing you'll need for the Cool Cup is a little paper cup, something pointy like a reasonably sharp pencil, a felt pen, anything to write, and a straw. And lastly, you'll need a little latex stretchy glove, okay? So, the first thing we're gonna do is grab our felt pen. We're gonna create a little character here, someone who's a little worried they may be worried or sad or scared or anxious. They're just feeling too much. They're dealing with some pretty big emotions and they really need a space to cool down and a way to chill out. So I'm gonna draw my little face. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say for my kids that he's sad or scared. A lot of my young boys especially have negative associations with those. They don't wanna admit they're sad or scared, but what I'll use is something like an emotional thermometer. Maybe he's feeling just too hot, too much, his thermometer's up in the red. He feels he could be worried about a sleepover. He could be stressed about an exam. He could be worried about leaving mom to go to school. He just feels too much, okay? He needs to chill out. We're gonna leave my little worried Walter over here for a second. Forget about him, leave him on the hand. And we're gonna go back to the cup. Take our paper cup. I'm gonna take my pointy straw. I'm gonna poke a hole in the bottom of the cup. So just about a few centimeters up from the base. Poke. A little hole in there. Then I'm going to take my straw and I'm going to pop them. If you have one of these bendy straws, even better. Pull it out and put the smaller bendy end just into the bottom. Now you shouldn't make the hole too big because a straw should just fit in. If I can make this straw fit in. Oh, I need to make my hole slightly bigger. But it's better slightly too small than too big because you don't want the additional space. Okay, so it should fit in just like so. Lovely. Now we're ready. We're going to leave our cup down, take our little worry Walter off our hand. To do this, to, don't get marker on your fingers, grab the bottom of the glove and pull it right off. Okay, you'll see the face is still in the glove. If it's still bundled up, simply blow into it and the glove pops right out. Okay, we're going to stretch out Mr. Walter and put him over the top of the cup. Then push him inside. He's so stressed, he's hiding away. He's hiding away there. Oh my goodness, okay? So here we've made our little cool cup. Now you're gonna tell a young person to calm down when we're feeling stressed and wanna hide away, we need to take a couple of nice deep breaths, okay? And this is a test to see if you can do those nice calming deep breaths. I wanna see if you can do three deep breaths, get worried Walter to pop off, and all the worries float away, okay? So we're gonna take a deep breath in, get them to hold the straw with little pinchy fingers. One deep breath. Now I'm gonna take a breath in, pinch. <gasps> Two. <gasps> He's right the way up there. Can I get him to pop off? Number three. <gasps> Yay! And he pops off, okay? And that's it. That's the cool cup. Because the glove holds around the top, it'll fill up. The kids love that visual of him filling up with air as you're taking those calming deep breaths and with the final breath to get the full complete exhalation, you make him pop off, okay? If it's an older person or you wanna do more breaths, get a larger volume cup. So for my teen kids, I'll have like a big, like Starbucks venti size cup. So we might need five or even 10 deep breaths to try and get him to pop off. It's a really great one. Lovely little motor skills along the way, but it's a brilliant one to teach those Nice, calming, deep breaths. Because what a lot of my kids will do, they get the concepts on paper, but they'll tend to <gasps> inhale, but <sighs> won't have that nice, complete, calming exhalation. And this is a great way to train that. It's also a beautiful visual. When they're feeling stressed, it's a very clear visual guide to think, okay, when I want to climb into my little cup, when I want to crawl away from everything, climb into my cool cup, three nice, deep breaths. Imagine all that nice, clear, relaxing exhalations, that air blowing out and the stress popping off 
and floating away. And that's it. That's the cool cup, guys. Thank you so much. As always, if you like these and the other videos, please do subscribe to stay updated. Any questions, let me know in the comments. I love getting your questions. I really, really do. And I'll respond to each and every one. But that's it for this week. Thank you so much, guys. Adam the OT. Night.